Amidst massive budget cuts, some of America's public schools are still managing to find the money for some outrageous enterprises. Now, Minnesota's Lakeville School District just laid off 94 teachers when its budget was cut by $7 million. But according to the St. Paul Star Tribune, the same school district spent your tax dollars to send a delegation of teachers at the cost of $160 per teacher to a white privilege conference. It begins in Minneapolis today. Now, according to the conference website, the white privilege conference is, quote, a conference built on the premise that the U.S. was started by white people for white people. And according to the conference's founder and director, he wants everybody who attends the conference to learn that, quote, white supremacy, white privilege, racism, and other forms of oppression are designed for your destruction, designed to kill you. So what I want this conference to help people of color to understand is how that system works, how it can create little bitty things that add up, that cause hypertension, that cause you to maybe eat unhealthy or not exercise. Well, that's instructive. Joining me now with reaction to this outrageous use of your tax dollars, the national spokesman for the Council on Racial Equality, Niger Innes, and Bucknell University professor James Peterson. Niger, uh, you know, our kids in many cities and school districts can't read, can't write, can't do math. The level that's of education is right. not up to par, especially when we put it on the world standard stage. Uh, is this, when you're laying off all of these teachers, is this an appropriate use of funds? Absolutely not. It's absurd. It's disgusting. It's outrageous. And it's a miseducation of our children. You know, Sean, blacks and Latinos around the country lag behind in graduation rates of not only whites, but of Asian Americans, people of color, another people of color, Asian Americans. We lag behind. In Minnesota, Minnesota, the African American graduation rate is one of the worst in the state or, or in, in the state of the union uh, is Minnesota. And they can't think of anything better than to miseducate and to create a phenomenon of victimization and and what I call a neo-segregation of forcing blacks and Latinos to think of themselves as the other, that this country is not theirs, that they don't have the ability and the right to strive to kick, fight and scream and, and struggle like every other American does. This promotes victimization. It's a miseducation of our children. It's a gross injustice. Uh, Mr. Peterson, they just laid off 94 teachers. They had to cut the budget by $7 million. Uh, I, 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 I believe that every child has great talent. The word education is from the Latin to bring forth from within. And we're spending money on, on a conference. Do you think this is an appropriate use of tax dollars? Well, this is the use of the tax dollars are actually to raise awareness for the teachers about white privilege. And although I respect Niger, I just don't agree with him here. If you look at uh, things like gender privilege or class privilege, maybe it's easier to see. But the bottom line is when we look at public education, criminal justice system, health care, we can clearly see that there is such a thing as white privilege. And listen, this is not indicting any individual white person. This is just to say that if you're black, you have to have different professor, concerns though, minute, with minute, the criminal justice system. Let me finish my my point. But wait, 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 you're not answering my you, question. So why don't we address my point? My question. point is, they am, just laid off 94 teachers. We have I limited. Heard your we, point. Hang on, we have a limited budget. We have kids, oftentimes leaving school districts, not able to read, write, do math. And That's right. so they lay off the teachers, and then they pay for all these other teachers to go to this conference. You think that's an appropriate and wise use of limited money? Listen, there are there are various ways of. Yes. Yes, I do. Because white privilege does exist and we need our teachers to understand that. Listen, the vast majority of white folk across this country do not have the same kind of concerns in our public educational system as students of color. They are not tracked in the same ways. They are not discriminated against in the same ways. And the curriculum doesn't represent them or misrepresent them in the right, same well, way. The well, fact is, me... you can be a white student sometimes and not to have the same kind of concerns that students of color have. It's as simple well, as that. Well, I, I would recommend that if if this conference really want to d d do a service, they should call it white and yellow privilege because Asian American kids are outperforming not only the average, but the average white kid, too. So obviously this this privilege exists for whites and Asian American kids. You can go to any school district in this country and the poorest school districts and you will see the valedictorians are sometimes first generation or second generation kids from 
from uh, from Asia, from India, from China, from other separate parts of issue. Asia. Separate issue. Good point, but have, a separate because issue. Because they have because they have a culture that promotes That's education. Right. They don't have people right. trying to feed them Nigel, nonsense. Let me ask another separate let me, issue. Let me, let me, listen, let me, listen. Let me, they let also are not discriminated against in the same way that black and brown people are discriminated against. They also are not discriminated against in the same way that black and brown people are discriminated against. They are people of color too. They're not Europeans. They are, but their history in this country is quite different, Nigel. Their history in this country is quite and different. Let me tell you, their history in this country is quite wait different. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Their history in this country is quite different. They do not play uh, with the Asian American Niger, community. Hang on, let me, let me bring this point up. How is it that if somebody faces discrimination, how is it that, that as this, this uh, piece says, it causes them hypertension, causes them to eat in a way that's unhealthy, causes people not to exercise? Isn't that predicated an idea that that individuals are not responsible for their own behavior in some way? I am all for individual responsibility, but if you look at the arc of history of the relationship between health care and public health and African Americans, you can see that there are various cases in which African American folk have been alienated from health care. And that's just not the economic piece of it, that's a cultural that and social piece of it. But, but so we have to repair that. We have to repair exercise. We have to, re we have to repair that first right. before we can say Niger, there's a level playing field from which there, we can there, engage here. There's not a thing that this phony, fraudulent racist conference is promoting that would deal with those disparities. This is not racist. One of, the, one of the things, by the way, Sean, that is a disgrace is that the University of Colorado is, a, is participating with this, this sham of a conference and providing continuing it's not a education it's not a units. Shame. Colorado Springs, University of Colorado, they need to be investigated. Listen, I call on Eric Holder white and the Justice ends, Department to, to investigate of, of, this okay, scandalous spending guys, appreciate of tax dollars. We need to spend Thanks that money to hire those teachers back which will help the students that, that we claim to care for here, and that's what I want to see for them. Guys, thanks as for being with us. As long as they're aware of things Let like that.